we're here in the middle of a field in, in, in Burke County, and uh, in, a, in a sense, you think, well, this is, you know, one little place. Um, but the story is a story that was repeated across the continent. This is the site at which you have an episode of, of the colonial encounter, the classic colonial encounter. From the written accounts of the Juan Pardo expeditions, we know that Fort San Juan and Cuenca were established adjacent to the, the principal town of the Native American province of Juara. This was the capital town of that chieftain. There's something almost criminal about not explaining to people why it's important and why they should care. We know that there, were, there was Fort San Juan here, there was another fort about um, near somewhere near modern Salisbury, so maybe 150 miles east of here. There was another fort down around Camden, South Carolina, so maybe 150 to 200 miles south of here. Together those three forts, those are three of the six forts that Pardo built, but those three formed a triangle. In the middle of that triangle, Charlotte is pretty close to the middle of that triangle. Charlotte was the site of the first gold rush in the United States back at the end of the 18th century, early 19th century. And you could pick the gold up out of the creeks. There are still abandoned gold mines in the area 30, 40 miles south of here. Every hill has an abandoned gold mine in it. The Spaniards who were here and the Spaniards who were at Salisbury and the Spaniards who were at Camden were prospecting every day. They talked about it in the accounts they left behind. They were out looking for gold and looking for gems and diamonds and rubies. Had these forts lasted a little bit longer than they did, the Spaniards going back and forth between these different forts on these Indian roads would have found the gold in those creeks because it was just laying there. They weren't having to dig, you know, 200 meter tunnels into the, into the mountains to get the gold. It was laying right there in the creeks. Had the Spaniards found that gold, then there's a Spanish gold rush in North Carolina in the 1560s. If there's a Spanish gold rush here, with it come the Spanish estates, the Spanish plantations, the Spanish slaves, horses, etc., etc. And there's no Jamestown. There's no Charlestown. Basically everything south of the Mason-Dixon line becomes part of Latin America. So basically the history of the United States as we know it is changed dramatically when this fort is burned down. Uh, when the Indians here decide they've had enough of the Spaniards and they burn down the fort and they burn down the other six forts as well, it doesn't just change the history of the Spaniards here in the 1560s. It changes everything about how the United States comes out of that and how we know the United States, which changes the history of the world. So small, a small event in a small backwater place has an impact on the way the rest of the world is structured 500 years later.